In this episode, I'm in Miri in Sarawak, exploring this little-known dive destination. My name is Bertie, and this is Borneo from below. To most visitors, Miri is known as a jumping off point to the nearby national parks. However, what I'm interested in lies a little bit more out here. But before I show you some of Miri's hidden charms, let's find out what put this place on the map. Today I'm heading to Nia Caves, just outside of Miri, to get a better idea of what brings tourists to this part of the world. So it turns out this is actually a nine kilometre trek full of leeches. And look, I'm as prepared as always flip-flops. As I flip-flopped my way through the jungle, it didn't take long to see some cool creepy crawlies. It turns out that Sipadan isn't the only place in Borneo where you can see hammerheads. This little fella here is a hammerhead worm and this predatory worm can track its prey and feeds on earthworms and mollusks. It's amazing some of the creepy crawlies that you get in the jungle. And this beautiful red millipede really stands out against the green background, which is great for photography. Who said we were just about Borneo from below, eh? Formed between 16 and 20 million years ago, the caves and archaeological site were gazetted as a national park in 1974. Whilst they may not be as large as nearby Gunung Mulu, they're still an awesome sight to behold. So we finally made it to the entrance of Nia Caves and it was at this site here where a human skull that they believe to be 40,000 years old was found and this is believed to be the oldest human skull in all of Southeast Asia. As we trekked deeper into the darkness, we came across evidence for one of the area's most lucrative industries. Collecting swiftlet nests is huge business in these parts and they're used to create a delicacy, bird's nest soup. I don't know if you can make it out because it's quite dark, but these poles lead all the way to the roof of the cave and that's where the bird's nest collectors work. As fate would have it, shortly after we came across a nest collector about to begin his day's work. Nama saya Juarno, pekerjaan saya panjat untuk mengambil sarang burung. How do you collect the bird's nest? Is it a dangerous profession? After that fascinating look at Miri's topside treasures, it was time to head back to the coast and check out the area's watery wonders. Taking me out today will be the guys from Coco Dive, one of the few Paddy Five Star operators here in Sarawak. Coco Dive have been here for three years now, since 2012. What's the best thing about diving here? Uh, the diving here is very good, it's very fantastic because it's very raw. Okay, it's also unexplored yet. There is more or less 40 dive sites here, and not all of them has been explored by the divers. Yeah. Um, on the dive, you might see school of a lot of school of fish. Okay, you can see mackerel, a lot of mackerel like nudie branch, shrimp, crab. Uh, there's some big fish as well, like grouper, big barracuda here. Yeah. Okay, so that's enough talking about the diving. Let's go and jump in the water. For encounters of the larger kind, it's possible to see whale sharks off Miri from March to May. Right now though, there's a nice mix of other species to see and photograph. Jalan, jalan. Miri's aquatic realm is just starting to be explored. The benefit of this is that the dive sites are unpredictable, adding an element of uncertainty and excitement to every descent. With a mixture of flat bottom shoals, forest-like swathes of large sea fans, and more conventional reef, 
Not to mention the unique wreck diving, Miri has a nice range of diverse seascapes. Whilst oceanic currents can cause a fluctuation in water temperature, if you dive later in the year like we did, you'll be able to enjoy pleasant 30 plus degree waters. On the other hand, however, the colder climbs after the new year can bring with them visibility of over 40 metres. Oh, that was lovely. Beautiful hard and soft coral, schooling fish, warm water, good visibility, nice shots of Christian, our photographer in the blue. Yeah. Good dive. So that concludes our stay at a place that has it all. Caves, culture and coral reefs. There really is something about Miri. See, we have got a boat full of amped up customers ready for the next dive. Exciting business this diving.